For me in the classroom, that's everything. If I don't have creativity, there, w there won't be a learning situation. In, in the school I work, we have quite a lot of technology embedded in the education. But, I mean, we, we could use a little more. It's difficult to teach creativity. So I think it's, it's giving them tools to be creative, doing something they can't normally do, um, and perhaps experimenting, really, and coming up with ideas which they would find difficult otherwise. Yeah, I do think it's a problem uh, that, that technology is not always embedded in education. I think it should be, and I think it's a student's right that it should be there. It's very pivotal that schools get creative, creative technologies into what they're doing. It's not just for people who want to go into the sector like me in art, it's for everyone. Everyone uses these digital technologies now. I think it's really important that, that all students are working towards having their own online portfolios so that they're actually connecting with the world beyond the school, because obviously that's where they're going to end up. Well, technology is all around us every day, so you, you need it, you can't live without it. I started with an iPad class, so the children don't have books, only an iPad. I, I'm really practicing with uh, using apps for the students to uh, get more creative with it. Getting hands-on is definitely the best way. By doing stuff, you learn faster. When I was 13, 14, if you're taught how to use programs and use the technology, it makes it easier when you're older. I wish I had this kind of like technology when I started my GCSEs. The software that I used before, uh, it didn't get me interested, it didn't get me hyped, I, it didn't have the feeling of like con actually connecting to the industry. The apps that are available now are much more student-friendly and much more geared towards beginners. It's phenomenally helpful that uh, the industry standard software is so user-friendly. The mobile apps give you a whole new dimension to everything because they're all sort of uh, light versions of the uh, desktop apps. I think knowing about those tools does help them because it will save them so much time. Working uh, through web design, through um, any kind of graphic product, through video, is, or is the skill base that they're going to need in pretty much any kind of work situation. And I think that it's not just down to schools, it's down to parents, governments, but also to young people to demand that they have that right to learn those tools within the curriculum.